We've got a 1969 Chevelle SS396. It's got a performance built motor. Actually, it's a 440 stroker motor now. Five speed Kiesler Trans. Got a Posi rear end, Willwood disc brakes, Hydro Boost uh, power brakes, uh, air conditioning. It's got good looks, got everything you want. And I apologize, it's pouring rain on a metal roof, so it's a little bit loud in here today, and we also won't be able to back the car out. But you can go to volocars.com, as you can take your time studying all the pictures, reading all the information, and that's where you'll find the price tag, along with the monthly finance option, not just on this car, but every car we have for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next one's posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Okay, so they say the car had a frame off restoration in 2014. They did replace the body bushings with polyurethane bushings. The front end has been completely rebuilt. Uh, it does have lowering springs all around. It has drop spindles. Uh, it has a fatter sway bar. It has a quick ratio steering box. In back, it has the Edelbrock four-link uh, control arms, all the box control arms, upper, lower, fatter sway bar. Great sounding three-inch dual exhaust with an X-pipe, Flowmaster mufflers, it has the Cowbell SS tips. We will start it for you towards the end of the video. Fuel system was replaced. It has a sump at the bottom of the tank. A uh, stainless braided fuel line from the tank to the motor. <clears throat> uh, what else we got? Willwood disc brakes under there. All four wheels, Willwood disc brakes. E-brake cable is hooked up. You look up at the motor, it's nice fresh Chevy orange. The high torque starter is wrapped with a heat shield. It's a Kiesler TKO five speed manual transmission with a hydraulic clutch, rebuilt drive shaft with a safety loop, 12 bolt rear end with <clears throat> Mosier 31 spline axles. It's got an Eaton Posi unit and Richmond 410 gears. So that five speed with a 410 is a great combination. First gear will launch you and then fifth gear be cruising down the highway. It looks to be very solid metal, the floors and all that looks to be nice and clean. It was all painted black when it was restored. So really nice, really nice underneath, a lot of good upgrades. Now let's check out the body. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a dark forest green metallic. I'm looking down the side of the car, it's straight. I don't see any ripples or waves. It's all lines up very nicely, smooth down at the bottom here. Lines up square and flush, no bubbles, no damage. Nice and clean, wheel well. Lines are all nice. Everything fits real well. <coughs> Trunk lids looking great. This is all lining up real nice. This side's just as straight. No, no bubbles, no rust, no damage. Fits very nicely. So the body really presents itself really, really well. I have no complaints about the body. The paint is really sharp. I mean, it's impressive. It, it's laid out evenly. It's polished smooth and glossy. There are some flaws right up tight to this trim right here. There's some imperfections right there. There were a few chips, which I'll try and find for you. This is all smooth, glossy. The metal flake is laid out nice. The stripes, you don't even feel them. They're painted on white stripes. Here's a chip right here. It's about the size of a pinky nail. It's been touched up. There's one right up here, up front, and one right here. Those are the three chips that I had noticed on the car. The windshield's original. It's good, but not crystal clear. The moldings are all good. The mirror looks new. Door handle looks new. They really should have replaced these uh, rubber seals. Looks like they replaced them on the door, but not right here. So these are a little brittle, should be replaced. Same with the rubber around the roof. They did not replace, and that's kind of brittle. The rubber around the doors is new. Uh, vinyl top is in excellent shape. I'm sure that was replaced. That's real nice. 
Uh, beautiful chrome torque thrust wheels. There's 17s in front, 18s in back. Uh, they got Yokohama uh, performance sneakers on them. Tail lights, bumper, the trim, all that was replaced in 2014. It all still looks good. It's a little bit of tarnishing going on right there. Yeah, that's looking nice. The SS396 emblems are sparkling. And then up front, the bumper uh, is re-chromed and all the trim looks really nice. Now, why don't we open it up and see what she looks like inside. You're going to like under the hood. Let's look inside the trunk. Under the trunk lid is smooth and glossy paint, as well as the jams. Got new weather strip. The trunk compartment is painted black and it's all clean, solid metal. Trunk is, re uh, battery is relocated to the trunk. You can see it's all secured properly. There's also a subwoofer speaker. The back window has a dark tint. The side glass is not tinted. Bottom of the doors are clean. I did get this car out of Arizona. Door panels, armrests, that's been replaced. The dash pad is new. The instrument panel is all custom and it has a matching set of pro comp gauges. 7,200 miles, that's since it was built. Uh, it does have air conditioning vents. Uh, these are updated. They're electric instead of cables. Modern stereo. Uh, there are 6x9 speakers in back and kick panel speakers. So down on the floor we got nice carpet, embroidered mats. The best part, a Hearst 5-speed. You got the nice center console with the armrest and cup holders. Sport seats. These are pro comp seats. They hold you in place really nice. You can be out tearing up the, the roads, uh, hitting the corners, and uh, they'll hold you in real good. These are also upgraded three-point uh, shoulder belts for the front. The back seat, the side panels, that's all reupholstered. The headliners replaced, LED uh, dome light, visors and mirror look like they're new, and then we got a billet specialties uh, steering wheel. So I told you you'd like the motor compartment. That's a 70, uh, 396 motor. It's been bored and stroked to a 440. It's a full roller motor, uh, balanced rotating forged assembly. Um, it's got you know a special cut cam. On top, you got the Edelbrock intake. The really big polished Holley dual feed carburetor with premium fittings and lines, electric choke. We got MSD ignition system with nicely run wires for a billet holder. We got a set of headers that are coated. We have chrome fuel pump, chrome valve covers, chrome alternator. And then the front of the motor has the March billet pulleys with the serpentine belt, along with billet brackets. Features power steering, a polished AC compressor. It's a Hydro Boost power steering power brake system. That reservoir is for the hydraulic clutch. And then back up front here, we have a Champion aluminum radiator with two big electric fans. And I really like this filler panel up here. This is really sharp looking. So nice looking motor compartment.
So there you have it. It's not a perfect car, but it's a really nice car with a lot going for it. I love the look. I love the dark green metallic with the wheels, the stance. I think it's sharp looking. You got the shifter in there and the motor to, to push it real good. Got nice upgrades, make it comfortable, air conditioning, the stereo. So this car's ready to be enjoyed. You go to volocars.com. The salesman can help answer your questions. They can help finance this car, and they can help get this delivered right to your door at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.